Farming in western New England comes in many forms, but what ties it all together is the landscape. From the rolling hills of the Berkshires to the flat meadows of the Connecticut River Valley, these lands have been farmed since Native Americans first settled here. This is my turn to farm this land. This is my generation. I don't feel I have the right to sell this land for development. Our land is protected. It definitely keeps the land affordable for future generations of farmers. I, I don't think we would have gotten a loan to buy the land if it was all developable. It is some of the best soil in the world. You know, we, we like to say we have some of the best Hadley loam in Hadley. My father and I uh, run the farm together. He's the third generation, I'm the fourth, and uh, actually the fifth generation is 11 months old now, so, <laughs> so no pressure on him, yeah. I haven't been able to figure out anything that I'd rather do. It's not that I don't think about it, because I do. I wonder, like, what would I rather be doing? It's a gamble. I have never been to Foxwood or any places like that. I never could stand gambling, but I do it every day. In the late 80s, farmers here, as in many parts of the country, were feeling vulnerable. As development ate up more and more land, agriculture in the valley was threatened. Many farms sold out to their developers, while others fought to protect their land and their livelihood. We appreciate the fact that we can stand up on top of Mount Sugarloaf and look down on this valley and know how much of that land is conserved, but we also can look down on this valley and know which land hasn't been conserved yet. We could have not sold our development rights to the state and sold off acres of land bit by bit and we could make a whale of a lot more money doing in that term. in the short term. But you know what? It's just not right. We just can't afford as a nation to keep paving paradise. <laughs>